All right, so we got to change the scenery here today. I'm in my shed, out in my backyard. Uh, today I'm taking apart this old dimmer switch that I replaced a while back, like I think last year, or earlier this year, or something like that. So I'm gonna take it apart here. Tools to use, knives. I think there's also some side cutters in here somewhere. In a little box, I don't know where I put them. Anyways. So I'm going to need to pop these rivets off here, here and here. This is just a, you twist it on and off, like this. This is off, this is on. And it's dim, full brightness, and off. So I'm going to try to go at it with the screwdriver first. See if I can pop it. If not, then I'll move on to uh, other reads. You guys are currently in this vise right here. Uh, Put the little pig in there, as you can see, little arm. It works well, it works well enough. This is horsehair, believe it or not, it's from a horsetail. Head keys. Um, yeah. It's not sharp enough, let's try a uh, box cutter slash utility knife. It needs lubrication very bad, it's very tar it's hard to pull it out, push out the blade. Try not to stab myself. Uh, let me try something else here. Ooh, lantern mantles. Or the old uh, kerosene lanterns. For, yeah. Or propane. Um, let's see. I don't know where I put those side cutters. Let me try going on with my the tip of my wire strippers here. Or I can try bending this. The mounting part off of it, then pinch it and twist it. That'll help now. Try grabbing it here, doing the same thing. Use an actual pair of pliers, stand by. Alright, I'm back with some actual pliers. These have a little cutting blade in them, as you can hopefully see. Focus. Anyways, in there there's a cutting blade. Let's see here. Mm, it's sort of working. I got a little thing I can probably stick the screwdriver in there. There we go. Oop, stuff's popping off. Let's see. Probably stick these in there now and pop that rivet. Try to at least. Eh, just bending crap. I like to use this switch anyways. I think it was either only working at full brightness or wouldn't turn on at all. There we go. Alright. Here's the circuitry inside. It smells quite burnt, even though I haven't, this hasn't been used in a long time. Uh, there's like a little inductor there. There's your pot there, your potentiometer. What's that other mister? I don't know. Pretty sure it's a percentile. There's like a some sort of transistor there, capacitors, diodes, resistors. Yeah. And there's a little connects there. Only two of them are being used. Interesting. This is some good wire I could probably use. So we'll cut that there. Cut that right there. And let's see here. There's this little metal shield. Let me cut off this. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll just cut off this inductor here, things. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. This is actually cardboard. Shit, and I just knocked over my stand. It needs... I need a new one. You can hear it creaking. It's, little, it's like the little... This, this stuff here. This type of material. I can adjust it somehow. Day. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Alright. Should work. Slide this back over here. So here is the inside of the switch again. A little wrap around it was, is a cardboard or paper of some sort with dye on it. Um, okay, so these, this down here, I can just pop that open with maybe a tip of a knife or a screwdriver. I will try the screwdriver first. Actually, there's some little things down here. Little things here and here. Move that out of the way so I don't 
bash my arm on it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? This needs real bad lubrication, like really bad. There we go. Okay, now I can get this little potentiometer thing off. I think that's what it is. Anyways, stick the Stanley knife under the little tab there. This metal on here is also quite sharp because it's just meant to go inside of a box in the wall. And it'll catch you, just like picture frame glass if it's not rounded off on the edges. Okay, here we go. This is out. Focus. Cool. Here's a little tip. This is where the knob would go. This is, again, full brightness. Completely dim. Off. On, off, on, off. So I'm going to bend uh, these tabs right here and here and here and here. Just try to. And actually, there's some tabs right here. I'll get those, try to get those first. Um, so I'll just tack this with the screwdriver. If not. That's sort of working. Try with the let's try with my pocket knife instead. Yeah, this is working better. It's a bit slimmer. Just kind of poke that in there. Bend it a little bit. Bend the little tabs. Let's see, will this come off? No, it needs a little bit more persuasion. There we go. Okay, here's the inside there. That looks like the back of an electric motor on like an RC car. Here's a little wiper. There's some grease in there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to take off those tabs on the front there. See if I can... Well, um, <clears throat> see here. Probably... See what it does? It, it's like a screw, so it comes up and then it comes down. So that's ne that's neat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take those tabs off on the front. Um, try with the stemmy knife again. Stick it in there and bend the tab. Sorry, I keep going out of shot here. This might not happen. Ow, fuck. Ugh. Good thing I didn't cut myself with that screwdriver. Just slipped, and this thing is twisting in there. You can see I can twist that, and this will. Yeah, whatever. Now I'm covered in grease from the potentiometer in there. That's all lubed up with stuff. It's an airplane. I thought that was for a second my front gate opening that opens in my courtyard. Okay, here we go. Getting this off here. Just needed a bit of persuasion with the persuasion stick, mini persuasion stick, as I like to call it. It's a screwdriver, tiny, mini. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where the resist, the variable resistor is on here. So let me bend these out all the way. Focus, camera, focus. Students having fun in their pocket rocket things. All right, so this is pretty. This is there's a little bit of oxidation right there, not too much. Little bracket. Here's the variable resistor. I don't see anything physically wrong with it, so I'm not sure. This is the middle, like your center here, where that's like your common. If you were to just put it across here, it'd be just a resistor. In fact, let me get my multimeter and test that. Alright, I got my multimeter here. We're going to probe between here and here. Let me zoom down a little bit. Onto there. Put my screen. Oh, zoom out a little bit. But zoom out. There. So we can... Uh, we'll set this to continuity to see if there's any shorts on it first. So, there we go. There we go. Also, test resistance. 
just get that little tip in the hole there and we'll that is completely open it is interesting so yeah something's wrong with this resistor here the VR here if I drag my thing along that nothing is happening put it there it's yeah so yeah I'd say that's open circuit yeah yeah, death of a dimmer switch. Let's see this all. So yeah, the dimmer switch, and the little VR is dead in there. Variable resistor. Who the fuck is there? I swear I just saw someone behind the shed. Fuck hell! I thought I just saw someone back there. It scared the shit out of me. Just saw our plants move behind me. Some plants back there. And I saw that move right there. Yeah. Who knows? There's tons of crackheads out here, man. Eh. Someone's car alarm is going off. Audi or whatever the heck uses those. These are some Mercedes. I have no idea. And now my stand is malfunctioning. Oh, shotgun gel. A live one at that. And the camera's fine now. Okay. Okay, then there's this transistor thing here. We can test that. I have a, uh, a transistor. Where is it? Crap. Does this, yeah, this has it. NPN, PNP, NPN. So I can test that here. So I can like pop it off without breaking it. Yeah, it's like riveted in there, probably not. Well, I can snip these little wires off here. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. And it's not like I'm going to reuse any of the parts anyways. That ferrite core thing there would be cool to shoot out of an air gun. Or can make an air cannon shoot shit with it. Check this. It's like dual layer. That's cool. It won't come out. It's like glued onto it or something. Hold it with that. Take that and then just... Other way. There we go. Look at this. Yeah. Frickin' stand doesn't want to work. Stanley. It does sound like I said stand, but indeed I said stand. There. Copper wire. Metal slug. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was uh, interesting. I took apart one of these last year, but it turns out it was the good one. But I had just replaced both of them just to be safe. Turns out the other one I took apart was still good, so I just basically wasted another one of these. So, yeah. There's so many things I could do with these. Uh, anyways, probably shouldn't do anything with that. It'll cause the police to show up and the neighbors to freak out. <laughs> That's weird. It's doing weird stuff. What you mean, sir? What are you doing? Right, we'll turn that off. Reattach the leads to the back. <clears throat> Your hole. There we go. And the wires. Alright. Well, with that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode or video. Peace out.